Hey, what is going on guys? It is Dallas Project here and welcome to Hearts of Iron for Führerreich as Nord Nordriket or uh, Volkist Norway. Now, in the last episode, Germans invaded Kingdom of Denmark alongside its little puppet called the Kill Zone. And uh, so far, it's been quite peaceful, still no world war, uh, though the French are supporting the Danish. Uh, the British aren't, obviously. Um, these guys aren't. Anyway, we'll get back to our business. So, I was planning on invading Sweden. And uh, we shall do that in a timely manner. We're going to slow this down and uh, proceed to... Actually, why would we slow it down? We're going to go full speed ahead and uh, we're going to check out what the Germans are doing. Right, so another port failed. It's going to be a lot of dead people there. There we go. And now it's basically all troops towards Copenhagen. Now it's going to be somewhat difficult to establish a crossing, I believe. But I think they may pull it off. If they do, it's basically all over. Okay, we've got support weapons. Uh, what is my doctrine? We'll go for mass assault simply because I will need all the manpower I can. Uh, and yeah, Copenhagen is doomed. Basically. Yep, it's gone. Just don't sign a white piece because the AI sometimes does that. That would be a bummer. We don't have a commander. Right, we'll give you one and then we're gonna get a new commander and then we're gonna promote him. And there we go. And we're going to give him offensive doctrine. This guy can't get anything. Okay. So this guy now has a career officer. So that's alright, I guess. Bad. Oh, and uh, if we join the Stahlpacht, I guess we will have an easier time fighting Sweden. Because the Germans now, uh, if they do puppet these guys, they'll have crossing over here. So that's always neat. Okay, uh, do we have... Need to check. Okay, so these guys only have... Let's grab Recon, put that there. How much we need. Okay, let's just start building some more of these parallel to this. There we go. It's good. It's a pretty brutal war they've been, they've been waging. Yeah, 140,000 Danish dead, 52,000 Germans. Brazilians, meh. These guys, meh. Okay. Colombia and Peru. That is a very interesting... That's like a s football game. Um, what did I want to do? So we're here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just quickly... Focus. No check. Checks. And focus auto complete, just so we don't have to wait. Just gonna quickly grab this. Our nation, our country. We need more space for our coming children. We need lands and resources. We need to, uh, we need to dominate our neighbors. We're just gonna quickly do that and then turn this off again. Uh, obviously, because we have been. Uh, Kinda bumped with a ridiculous chain of events. And Denmark was annexed, Killzone was annexed, so Germany is now pretty powerful. Okay, and that's good. Now we have now we'll have an ally uh, ready to fight against Sweden if push comes to shove. So let's check Peru. Okay, Constitution Day, whatever. So Peru and Colombia. Uh, what cores do you have? Oh. Okay, so this is a core of... Okay, I get you, I get you. Well, Peru is... They're basically equal. Well, I can get her. Thought these guys would be somewhat stronger, but no. And it seems that the... That the collectivists will win in Brazil. So that's a new 
new switch. They'll be, a th oh, well, they'll have allies in Bolivia. So there's that. The rest of the, uh, the um, South Americas are either national populist or valkist or authoritarian democrats. A lot of dictatorships in general. So what is Germany going after next? New military factories. Still haven't gone for Zapadoslavia. The French are controlling their inflation. Serbia is pretty powerful. Poor Montenegro, though. They have, like, one military factory and probably no man... Actually, they do have manpower. Wow. Uh, when did Bulgaria turn syndicalist or socialist? Okay. When did this happen? Okay. That is uh, somewhat new to me. Maybe I didn't notice it. Okay. Uh, Hellenic Republic guaranteed by the Brits. Probably very powerful, yeah. Quite powerful indeed. Stronger than the Turks, actually. Though the Turks have powerful allies, so... Not to be... Joked around with. Okay. I'm gonna get some... Recruitable population with that. Construction speed. Is to north, no king or communist. Factory output. I like that. However, what is this? Claims. Ooh, very nice. But let's finish this first. Let's grab the 50%. Uh, Factory boost, and let's uh, build some more infantry divisions. Well, two, because that's all we can do. I don't think we can even fill this one, yeah. I mean, we have a pretty powerful army, considering we're in Norway. Yeah, and, and this mess happened over here in, in India. Dear Lord, that uh, if I was going to do a world conquest on this, that would be a pain. Oh, and there goes the war. Oh shit, the, the second great war. Oh great. So how did that happen? Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Germany, you're not looking too great, mate. Oh, no, 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 you're not looking great, definitely. Oh, shit, Germany. Germany, bro, bro, what's what's going on, Germany? Germany, s s talk to me, buddy. Talk to me, buddy. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> All right, maybe they'll counterattack now, but holy shit, that was a quick... Oh, God, now we have an encirclement there. All right, the, the Hungarians are in the war now. Uh, Romanians are as well. Damn, that's a big encirclement there. Yeah, there goes a lot of German troops. Holy shit. Oh, now, now these guys are in the war as well. Oh, God. Dear Lord, Germany's dead. Germany's kaput. This war is over before it even started. Yeah, they've signed a white peace. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. What did they get? You, you, okay. Average popularity. I don't care about that. Oh my dear god. Germany's getting butchered. Actually, no it isn't, but... Damn. That quick... Ex okay, Zapotoslavia will fall. But... That was messy, to say the least. Crap. Okay, no, 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 not excavation. I want to grab some artillery. Damn. They've pushed across the Rhine, so... And they did have forts, so that's uh, a bummer. Zapotoslavia is not even in the Allies. Or uh, the... Uh, con what was it? Continental Entente. Serbia's gonna stay out of this. Good for Serbia. That's a smart move, Serbia. I, I like that move. Just stay out of it. 
No need for us to get involved into everything. We have a perfect... Oh, you're, oh, never mind. You're sending volunteers to Lithuania. <laughs> yeah, Germany's not looking too well. Germany is kind of in a bad spot right now. Uh, they still haven't capitulated Zapotoslavia. That would help them a lot. Okay, they did encircle some French units there. Though, not sure if that's going to work out. And they've lost Frankfurt. They're about to lose Dortmund. Never mind, no encirclement there. They've been... They've been saved. Let's go Festning Nord. Oh shit, no, I didn't mean that, I meant this. Poland's proving a tough nut to crack. And considering Turkey's all the way over here... And that they're not at war with, uh, with the French. It's basically these three against all of Europe. Right, next Let's Play, I'm definitely going as one of the socialist countries. Maybe even the USSR, but I was wanting to... I wanted to wait uh, for them to get a bigger tree, because this tree is kind of... Uh, yeah. Kind of empty. Right, there goes Zapotoslavia, so things may prove easier now at least. Uh, if Poland falls and if they manage to focus on one front, yeah, that's definitely going to help. And the Jews are at war. Jews. Jews, why are you at war? Okay, I, I think Poland is dead due to Romanian help. However, this is worrisome for Germany. However, they could try and cut them off over here or something. Or just here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, my mouse cursor doesn't show up. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Let's build a civilian factory quickly. Yeah, Poland is... okay. Poland's gone. So, there's that. Um, now they're gonna have to focus on these two fronts. So, I guess Germany is not gone yet. That was pretty brutal. They were attacked on five fronts. But yeah, they... Uh, they are losing men now. A lot more. Probably trying to counterattack and push the Germ uh, push the French out. Because the French are expanding quite rapidly and are trying to cut off, uh, well, the Dutch state from the Germans. Warsaw is about to be encircled. Can I send volunteers? No, I cannot. I would need 30 divisions, right? And Turkey's having a civil war. That's just bloody marvelous. Oh no, I went one, two, three. Oh, 15. Okay, so currently I have 12. I'm making four more, so on, on, when these guys drop, it's going to be okay. So, Mustafa Ismet, Ismet Pasha is trying to restore secularity. And there goes Poland. Should have given that land to Germany, uh, Romania, they... Need it a lot more than you do. Okay, we've got a new two new divisions. So I should drop these guys and just exercise them. Okay, so I can send one division to Germany, right? So the volunteers, yeah, I can send one division. All right, so we're gonna send one of our divisions. Grab a new commander. He is cautious, alright. And we're gonna send that one division under Adolf Dahl. And there goes 